find the absolute extrema of f of x is one third x cubed minus x plus 2 on the closed interval 0, 2. These brackets mean that this thing is a closed interval as opposed to open interval and this means that we are including we are including the end points in this case 0 and 2 if this was open interval 0 2 we're not going to be including 0 and 2 so we're only looking for the extrema within or in between 0 and 2 in this case we are including 0 and 2 and if there is an absolute extrema on 0 or at 2 we're going to count those now, to find absolute extrema, there are some steps you have to follow. First thing, you're going to find, you're going to find f prime. Second thing, you're going to find critical, critical, critical numbers. Critical numbers is when f prime is zero or undefined. Those are the critical numbers. After that, you're going to plug in, you're going to plug in the critical numbers and and the endpoints in this case 0 and 2 and the endpoints into f and whatever comes out to be the highest is going to be the absolute maximum and whatever comes out to be lowest is going to specify the absolute minimum so let me show you what i mean in this case we start by finding f prime of x which is x squared minus 1 or if you factor it, you get x plus 1 times x minus 1. Second thing, you're going to find the critical numbers of this function. That's when f prime is 0 or undefined. In this case, f prime is 0 when x is negative 1 or when x is 1. Well, negative 1 is not in our interval 0, 2, so we're not going to count that. We only care about 1. Now we're going to plug in the critical numbers and endpoints into f. When you plug, so you we're going to plug f of 1, because 1 is a critical number. We are also going to evaluate f of 0 and f of 2, because 0 and 2 are the endpoints. Now what's f of 1? f of 1 is 1 third minus 1 plus 2, also known as 1 third plus 1 or 4 thirds. That's going to be f of 1. f of 0, I don't have much space, it's going to be 2, because that's 0, that's 0 f of 2 is going to be 8 thirds minus 2 plus 2 or 8 thirds. Now as we can see, obviously 8 third is, is the highest. So f of 2 gives you the maximum. So absolute, absolute maximum is 2 8 thirds. How about the absolute minimum? Well, 4 third is the lowest one. So absolute minimum is at 1 4 thirds. That's the answer. Oh, it's getting a bit messy. Let's get us more space. Number two, find the absolute extrema of f of x is x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 or on negative 4, negative 1. Let's start by differentiating. Let's go down a bit. f prime of x is going to be, use the quotient rule, which states that derivative of derivative of function function 1 over function 2 is the function 2 times derivative of the function 1 minus function 1 times derivative of function 2 over the function 2 squared. Let me show you what I mean. In this case, x squared plus x plus 1 is a function 1 and x squared plus 1 is function 2. You're going to start by function 2 x squared plus 1 times derivative of function 1 which which in this case is 2x plus 1 minus the function 1 x squared plus x plus 1 times the derivative of function 2 or 2x and we're going to divide by our function 2 x squared plus 1 squared now what's this going to be that's going to be 2x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 that's what this thing comes out to be minus minus 2x cubed, minus 2x times x is minus 2x squared, and you have minus 2x over x squared plus 1 squared, and does anything cancel out, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, or 2x and 2x, so we have x squared minus 2x squared, which is going to be negative x squared plus 1, over x squared plus 1 squared, and we can factor this, that's 1 minus x times 1 plus x, over 
x squared plus 1 squared. So what are the critical numbers? Well, critical numbers is when f prime is 0 or undefined. f prime is 0 when this thing is 0 or this thing is 0. So we have x is 1 and x is negative 1. And it, f prime is undefined when this thing is 0. And since x squared plus 1 is always going to be positive, we don't have any critical numbers for which f prime is undefined. So in this case, we have x is 1 and x is negative 1. And our interval was negative 4, negative 1. Our interval was negative 4, negative 1. So we're not going to count x equals 1 because it's not within our interval. So we're only counting x is negative 1. So we have to evaluate our function. We have to evaluate our function at negative 4 and evaluate our function at negative 1. And that we are going to, we are going to be done. Well, f of negative 4, f from, uh, let's go back, f of negative 4 is negative 4 squared, 16, plus x minus 4 plus 1, over x squared plus 1 squared, so uh, x squared plus 1. Now, that's going to be 12 plus 1 is 13, 16 plus 1 is 17. Uh, now let's figure out what f of negative 1 is. f of negative 1 is 1 minus 1 plus 1 or 1. And we have x squared plus 1 or 2. Obviously, 13 17 is higher than 1 half. So our maximum is at negative 4 13 17. That's going to be the max. And our minimum is at negative 1 1 half. That's going to be the minimum.